Hey guys, I'm probably late to the party on this one, but I kind of wanted to put my two cents on it. I didn't see a lot of people actually talk about it. That's kind of one of the big reasons I wanted to talk about it. So everyone remembers a few weeks ago when the Pepsi ad came out and it, it created a whole big buzz. Um, and then there was a response to that ad or kind of a response um, from Heineken that was called Worlds Apart. So if you haven't seen the ad, I'll put a, a link in the description, but I'll give a quick synopsis of it right now. Um, in the ad, um, pretty much what happened is two people with differing ideals came together. Um, they first built some stools, then they asked questions about each other, and then they built a bar while the whole time they don't know about each other's viewpoints. And so after they build the bar, they have each other watch pre-recordings of each other, of them saying what their views were on the world. Um, two guys that were paired together, one believed in climate change, one didn't believe in climate change. One person was somebody who declared himself as an anti-feminist or uh, the new right is what he said. Um, and the person he was paired with was somebody who claimed themselves as a 100% fem feminist. Then there was a guy who said he was pretty much just anti-transgender, didn't believe in transgendered people. And then that other person naturally was a transgender person. The ad received a lot of praise because it showed people with differing viewpoints working together regardless of their viewpoints and then at the end of the video they were talking about each other and what their viewpoints were and just kind of getting over that hurdle. Now to be honest when I first saw the video I was like oh wow that's a really good video but then I watched it again and it started to rub me the wrong way. Um, they f At the end of the video when they're talking about their differences the, the first people to talk are the climate change guys and they kind of there's not much there um, they're just like hey if you want to convince somebody of your viewpoints the best way to do it is over beer type of thing and so they didn't say they didn't sway one way or another they said they pretty much were saying yeah let's engage and let's talk and have a conversation the next people to talk were the anti-feminist and the feminist and all that said there is smash the patriarchy from the anti-feminist. Not a huge deal, um, not really a big deal. I mean, not really, it'll lead into my point a little bit later on. Um, and then the last, um, the last two, the transgender and the anti-transgender person, that's kind of where I really started to notice it. Um, pretty much the, the guy who was anti-transgender said, I grew up in a world that was black and white when obviously it's not black and white and the transgender person just said well I'm just me and while it's not like crazy anti-conservative ideals type of messaging um, it does imply that there is something inherently wrong with those type of viewpoints um, and I'm not saying I agree with them or disagree with them but it it doesn't allow for much wiggle room. So there was there was reaching from the right, but there wasn't reaching from the left to understand the other viewpoint. So pretty much the right was like, oh, well, here, let me, let me kind of understand where you're coming from. And the person on the left was like, yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right. And that's the message that sends to me when I watch that video is that there's something inherently wrong if I were to say because a lot of these I a lot of the right ideals in the video were closer to mine than the other side were so um, not thinking about it not going too much into it I can go okay so there's something inherently wrong with what I'm thinking or the way I believe and then somebody from the left watching this going oh okay so yeah I'm just me and they don't there's not real room for growth on their side and essentially all it is is pretty much the media pushing out whatever opinion that they want to push out which I don't have a problem with because uh, I would I would find myself a hypocrite if I felt like the media should be saying something else or the commercials say something else because one of my huge things when people say there's not enough representation of somebody in media or whatever so there's not enough woman superheroes there's not enough um, gay people in TV shows or children's cartoons, my big answer to that is then, then make it. it. It's 
why should somebody else have to cater to you? If somebody, if I make a video game character and it, it's a boy, that's what it is. I don't know why it has to be a girl. That's, that's who I want it to be. If I want it to be a girl, it will be a girl. I don't think people should dictate what creativity other people make. So naturally, the same. I would think the same of this uh, commercial. I wouldn't expect Heineken to um, make a conservative or more conservative commercial for the sake of conservatives out there, because there's not representation of conservative viewpoints. I don't. I don't. I, th I think that's kind of dumb, um, because there's. I mean, if you want conservative viewpoints, you'll find conservative viewpoints, or you can make conservative viewpoints. You can make conservative entertainment. Um, obviously. And I know that whole point just kind of negates the whole first part of this video, because mm -hmm. why even why even talk about it if it doesn't matter? But I think it's important just to kind of notice what's going on and uh, what they're saying, because I don't want people to just accept things and just go, oh, okay, so... And then, then, then they start to believe it, because it's, it, it, it's like you tell somebody they're stupid every day, they're gonna start to believe they're stupid. So if you hear this, this, this really subtle message of what you think is inherently wrong, you're gonna start to think what you, you're gonna start to think that what you think is inherently wrong. So yeah, this is mostly just a stay sharp fan video. But aside from that, it's actually something that I just kind of want to get off of my chest and just kind of talk about and just explore. Um, how media can actually be really tricky and what people are actually saying and just kind of dissect the dialogue of what was going on in that commercial because it's really interesting because it was a really 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 good commercial it honestly was but just the subtle underlying messages is just what threw the whole thing off for me if at some point in the video the guy said hey what I, I guess I thought everything was black and white. It's not. And then the girl said, you know what? I can kind of understand that. I'm not um, exactly what is society's norms, but if you want to work with me, I, I really, or at least come halfway. Because it's obviously that the, that the conservative side was trying to come halfway, but there was just no pull, or no push from the left to come to the, come meet them halfway. It's just, you do all the work and you come to my side or you're wrong. And I definitely don't think that's fair at all. So it, I mean, it's gonna be important for people to rise up, speak up, and get more people to notice that there are more conservative voices out there than what the media says there is. And rather than just come off on in the Heineken video saying, I don't like transgender people, that's it. I just never did them, blah, 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 blah. And make us out to be evil. Just, hey, come in, let us explain what our point of view is before you just call us inherently wrong. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to up my video quality a little bit. I've been having troubles with Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects and getting it all to render correctly. I think I've got it all figured out so I'll be able to push out videos really quickly and I'll actually be able to edit them, maybe give you guys some pictures, some videos to actually pretend like I'm trying to do this. Alright, you guys have a good one.